Hey everyone, uh, so recording from the home office uh, today, so no fancy microphone, uh, but looks okay. Uh, so I'm going to start off with um, maybe exploring some more um, little basic info about clocks, triggers, and gates. Um, so again, different types of signals uh, that can pass through these patch cables. It's just voltage, essentially. Uh, but there's a certain shape and purpose that we would use uh, these three things for. So I want to investigate that. And then we're going to look at a few uh, new modules in the process. Uh, so to start, a, a kind of a simple thing that we left off with last week, um, VCO going into so sawtooth, going into a filter, low pass, going into VCA and ADSR envelope, which is giving its envelope to the VCA to open it and then close it. Um, and then the new thing here that's going from there into a reverb called Plateau by Valley. Uh, and then, so I've got that, you know, the wet is just a little bit up. Uh, and I, I put the decay a little bit lower than default, but you can play with that. Uh, and then left and right going out into the audio module. So let's, um, maybe before we even play with the, the sequence uh, for now, let's just hear what this sounds like. Uh, and so that we don't have anything going into the gate on the EDSR now, but I can do this manually. Okay. Uh, so to start, you know, just thinking about triggers and gates, um, you know, both of these are essentially uh, a signal that is going from zero volts up to 10 volts. So you can think of them both as a kind of like pulse, um, and the, the main difference is, is just in the duration of that pulse. A trigger is, is typically a single sample, one sample long. A gate uh, extends over some duration, and it could be short or long or whatever. It's, it's arbitrary. Um, so as I'm, let's say, holding this, so this is basically functioning like a gate because it's, it's not just a one sample pulse. I'm like clicking it, and I'm holding it down, and then I'm releasing. Um, but as we can see over here with our sequencer, uh, we played with this little trigger output before. So every, for every step, this is giving a trigger and I hook this up to the scope here and you can see, uh, that this is a single sample. It's just click, click, click. So what happens if I copy this, uh, drag this over into our gate and so to, to copy this, actually, I can just hold Control, uh, or if you're on a Mac, you can hold Command, and then drag that over, right? So we could have multiple cables in here. Okay, so we can tell this. This sounds very different from when I was pressing it manually, right? And that's because this envelope is only open for a single sample. So it's very, very quick. And you know, we can see it, the, the little yellow light flashes here. So it kind of tells us where in this envelope, which state it's in. And it's it's so short, it really can't even really see it, right? And so again, if I do this, do this manually, right? we can actually see very clearly it, it goes, the attack is very short, but what if I maybe attack longer? And we'll be able to see clearly where it's at. So as long as I hold it, it stays at sustain. When I release, it goes to release. There we go. Uh, so by having a longer gate or controlling the duration of that gate, uh, you can control um, where in that envelope the it's, it's sitting. Um, this is especially important if you have a slightly longer attack time. If I just, I mean, I can't even click it fast enough. Okay. So, okay. So at least we're we're aware. There's there's a slight difference there. Um, these uh, steps up here give us a gate output. You can kind of see how this yellow line, depending on what step it's on, it'll it'll light up. So what if I just hooked up this one? Let's do like a yellow or a yellow purple. 
and let's see. Okay, we can kind of see right there, right? So when it hits that step, that's sending a gate, which is the duration of this, this entire step here. So what if we hook this up? So again, I'm going to hold control, drag this over. Okay, so now it's not just a quick little pulse, it's keeping it open for a little bit so I have time to kind of go through my ADSR stages here. Okay, so that's that's good to know. Um, but okay, what if I wanted what if I wanted this voice to, to the, the ADSR to be triggered um, you know not just in this one step, right? I want like multiple steps. So this trigger thing is hitting every step, right? So there's there's some difficulty. Okay, how, how can I make that happen? Uh, so there's a few things we can do. Let's maybe first off, let's look into a new um, little library here. And we can look at one from Count Modula. So again, Count Modula, super useful uh, library, <laughs> but there's there's just like, there's a few modules. Uh, I have never used most of these still. Um, but what I'm looking for is called gate mod. Maybe I'm typing that. It's hiding. There we go. Gate modifier. So voltage controlled gate length modifier. So what can we do with this? Let's make some room. And instead of looking at this, let's just delete that. So let's send this trigger into the trigger input of gate mod. And then we can uh, set the length. So let's see what happens here. Output. I typically use this kind of teal color for triggers and this purple color for gates. Um, because that's just, I don't know, that's how I kind of did it. Uh, okay, so by default, it looks like it's like the same, but what if I increase length here? Oh, there we go. Look at that. So I kind of have control. We can see in the scope over here, um, I'm, I'm converting this trigger into a, a gate with a length that I can control. So that's kind of nice. So now I can just kind of do this. Oops. That's that's pretty cool. So this is kind of like sculpting that that uh, trigger into into a gate here. It's got some other settings here, like um, so. Right now, by default, the range is onto medium. So I, uh, if I remember correctly, that means length all the way. That goes up to ten seconds. I want to say um, if it was on fast. Yeah, let's see here. It's just, it's uh, changing the the maximum length. If I go all the way here. And then slow. Actually, you know what? I think it's slow is 10 seconds. Medium would be five seconds. And then fast would be one second all the way up. I think that's how it works. Even though this, this length here just gives us a number. But you have to kind of play around with use a scope to, to see and to hear which uh, duration you want there. Um, OK, cool. Another thing we could play with uh, to learn about a new um, a new way to clock. Let's look at impromptu in this module called clocked. And you know we're, we're not really worrying about the the voct. I just put in just the standard old like uh, C four here. I'm just going to get rid of this sequencer. Uh, and maybe you can hang out right there for now. We don't need you anymore. So clocked is a, a great module for um, creating a, a master clock for your whole patch. Uh, so what it outputs from, uh, so this clock output, and then clock one, clock two, clock three, 
Okay, well, let's just see what it actually looks like. So typically I use a green cable for clock. So nothing nothing too special. We can see it's it's basically a a regular gate. So a clock is essentially like a, a trigger or a gate that is just a regular over time. Um, by default, the BPM is 120, so we can make that faster or slower. And by default, the pulse width is at 50%. So it's pulse width meaning uh, it's sort of half the way it's up and half the way it's down. So half, like half the time it's at 10 volts, half at zero volts. Uh, we can play with this pulse width PW. Uh, so right, you can see it's set to 0.5 right there. So what if I bring it over to the left there, right? So now it becomes more like a trigger. That's cool. Or if I go over there, it becomes gate duration becomes longer. So you can play with that also, right? What if we hook that directly into here? Same thing, kind of with the, the gate mod, with the length. There we go. It's a little, little froggy sound. Uh, okay, so that's that's a master clock. The great thing about this, uh, and this will uh, be more apparent in the next uh, the next demo. Um, I've got this master clock set to 120. These other three kind of sub clocks can be set to different ratios of that. So this is going to be twice as fast. Let's just kind of hook this up here. So that's it's going twice as fast as that one. It's going four times as fast. And this is four times slower. And all of these have uh, the pulse width uh, setting. You could delay one against the other, so like the different clocks have slightly different timing. Uh, actually, let's look at swing a little bit. That's kind of cool, also. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm looking at clock one here. Okay. swing does there. So it becomes less of a monotonous metronome like beat and swing adds a little adds a little syncopation to it right um, that can make for a little more interesting beat. Uh, but that's that's good for this one I think uh, a little more about clocks triggers gates and we'll use this some more in the next patch.